my channel today I wanted to share with you a few things that I recently picked up at Sephora, Ulta, and the drugstore. I have some old favorites in here and I also have some new launches that have recently come out and um, without further ado let's just get on into it. Okay so the first thing I want to talk about or share is the Shiseido Power Infusing Concentrate. I got this in a Sephora 100 points perk a very you know small one and I absolutely loved it that I saved up points and got another one and until um, they stopped offering it as a point perk. Um, I actually found this in Nordstrom Rack and it was only $12.97 which is an amazing deal because it's normally like $37 um, and this is for half an ounce. You can use it in the morning, you can use it at night. Um, I like to use it before I put on my moisturizer um, since it is a serum and it just helps smooth my face, um, acts as a good canvas before putting on makeup. So I love this and I'm glad I found it at Nordstrom Rack for only like $13. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to be talking about or sharing is the Inglot Duraline. I actually purchased this from Beautylish and if you don't know what this is, it's a mixing liquid. It comes in a little glass jar and it has a little dropper. Just take it and you drop it into any kind of like eyeliner or like brow pomade, anything that might have just um, dried up a little bit just from having it, you know, open so many times when we open and close those like cream containers, air gets into them and they dry out really quickly. But because they're such an investment, I still wanted to, um, you know, be able to still use those products. So I purchased this, I think this was around 15 or $16. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm excited to try that out. I've heard good things about it. Um, let me know if you tried it down below. I'm interested on how you like it. Okay, so the next thing I have is the Shiseido, another Shiseido product. This one I actually purchased from Ulta, and I got this during their, which is actually going on right now, actually. It's during their um, Beauty Steals um, and for skincare. So this was half price. I want to say this was about $15. It is the Wrinkle Resist Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. It says it instantly reduces the appearance of visible wrinkles in just 15 minutes. Now what intrigued me about this product is that it's an eye mask, but it has retinol in it. And I don't think I really come across too many of those things. I really like the Skin Iceland, the hydrogels for under the eyes. Um, those are amazing. They really help like lift the skin, but also like wake you up but I really like this had retinol, so I'm excited to try this one out. So this is the Soothing Eye Mask by Shiseido, and I'll have to do an updated review, or maybe I can put some um, thoughts down in the comments about how I ended up liking this once I give it a shot. Okay. All right, so the next thing I have is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. This is in the shade Think Flamingos, and I already have a couple of other shades by this brand, and I do like them. I will say they have a little bit more slip to them because it's a gel texture, so if you like that in a um, lip liner, you will like this. Um, if not, you may find that it moves just a little bit here and there depending on what you wear over it. Um, I personally like it. I think it's a great price. It's $2.99 at Walgreens, so I will purchase this again. Okay, so the next thing I have here is also from Beautylish. This is from The Ordinary. It's their 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil. Um, I got this after I heard Stephanie Nicole talking about it and how great it is um, for moisturizing really dry skin. I live in Florida and I normally have very oily skin, but because it's been really cold here, I really wanted to try something that was going to really help moisturize my skin. I'll put it on this hand just so you can see. It really sinks into the skin quickly because I have used this a few times already. Actually, I've used it on my hands just like this um, as well as on my face. And it does a really good job as far as delivering moisture to the skin quickly, but without like staying really greasy or shiny and you just need it on for just a few minutes so I really like this product I'll definitely repurchase when I run out I have used it for about a week and a half now and I know I really like it and the next thing also another Beautylish item this isn't really a makeup product per se 
Um, I guess I guess it kind of is. It's by Anna Sui, and it is this little. Um, it's actually an eyeshadow holder. It has a, it's a magnetic palette, so you can put her little tiny eyeshadows in it. But whenever I was looking at the reviews on Beautylish, people were saying this is like the perfect size to fit the little beauty blender blotter. And I wanted something else to put it in that also had a mirror, but it also looks so cute. So I thought this was adorable. It comes in another color that's like white and it has these colorful flowers on the front. I just got the black and gold just because I felt like it's classic, it'll just go with everything. It's really compact, fits nicely within my purses, and I really like this. And this is only 10 bucks. I think this is an awesome buy. Alright, and the next item I have going back to Ulta, this is by Lancome. It's the By Facile. It's their eye makeup, their dual action eye makeup remover. And I have heard this mentioned by so many other YouTubers, so many other people into beauty. It's like a cult favorite. I think Allure's named it best in beauty several times over. So when it went on sale, because this thing is normally $30 for 4.2 fluid ounces, I knew I wanted to try it. So I bought it and I've used it probably about three or four nights in a row and I do really like it. I will have to try it out longer to see if it beats um, some of my other favorite eye makeup removers. Um, so yeah, I will have to do an updated review on the Bifa Seal, but it seems to be going great so far. Love it. The next product I have is also from Ulta. This is a newer launch by Mario Badescu. He's had his um, skincare sprays out for um, ever, the rose one. I absolutely love. I'm such a big fan of rose and that scent. Um, and it also works well with my skin, so I do love that. So I wanted to try the facial spray. This is with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. This is the four fluid ounces. This was under $15, and I like it. It has a good mist on it. I'll show you here. It has a nice, even mist. Um, it smells really good. It definitely smells like lavender, and I don't get any chamomile or aloe or anything like that. This is just pure lavender. So if you don't like lavender, I don't think you'll like this, um, but I seem to be liking it so far. I still think I lean towards the rose one more, but um, yeah, it's fun to try something different, and I think I'll love this even more in the um, summer and spring months too. Alright, so the next thing I have is super exciting because I love the Wet n Wild brand. I purchased this at CVS. It is their new Mega Cushion Foundation. This has SPF 15 in it. I am in the shade Light Ivory, or at least I think I am because I haven't tried it yet. Um, but this is the lightest one they have. Um, I'm a little nervous because the outside of the packaging almost has like a yellow tinge to it. Um, so I'm just going to open it up here. This is what the packaging looks like. When you open it up, you get your little mirror and cushion. And then it has this um, protective coating on the front. So we'll peel that off. And it looks like this. So it's not really coming off on camera too much, but it does lean a little bit more warm. Um, so I'm excited to try this. I'm curious. It is, looks like it might lean, I don't know, it does kind of look more neutral now that I'm putting it on my hand and swatching it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try that out. I've heard mixed reviews. Some people really like the wear of this, but say it only lasts for a few hours, which I'm okay with. I don't mind um, something that looks really beautiful on the skin if it's for a few hours. It just depends on what I'm doing that day. Um, you know, helps me determine which thing I'm pulling from my drawer. So I'm excited to try this out. Let me know if you tried it down below. What do you think of the formula? How long does it last? I'm really curious about this product. So I'll put that to the side and I'll talk about my next thing also from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and this is in the shade Blossom Glow. I have about, I have two of the other ones. I know Crown of My Canopy is one of them and then um, I don't know, some of the other ones that have their gold bar. I know I love the formula of Wet Mild Highlighters. I love the shade of this. It's almost like a, it's not a rose gold. It's like a really light pink. I have it swatched right there. Um, a really light pink with a little bit of champagne tone in it. Just a little bit. 
So I am excited to try this out. I think I will like this already, even just feeling the texture. It feels just like the other ones. It feels really smooth, looking like it blends out really easily. So yes, I'm very excited that Wet n Wild expanded their range of highlighters just because they're so affordable. This was under five bucks. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. This is in the shade Smoldering Satin. This is also from Beautylish. I actually received this in my um, Lucky Bag unboxing and I was very excited to get this because I have tried only one other shade from this range and it's a shade that is exclusive to Ulta. I think it had the name Ballet, Ballet Slippers or something like that. Um, but I really did not like the formula of it. It was very chunky. It was um, very patchy. It looked horrible on the eyes. I returned it because I hated it so much. And then I kind of just like got off the bandwagon of these and went over to the Butter London Glaze and Eye Glosses. So that's kind of where I thought I was at. But I got this one in Smoldering Satin and it is so pretty. That's it right there. It's a horrible swatch, but you can see it. <laughs> it is like stunning. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. I have it layered over one other eyeshadow by Jordana, and I think it is so pretty. And I'm really glad I got this shade in my bag just because it's such an easy shade to wear every day, but it's also a shade that you can easily glam and ramp up for, you know, going out on a date or going out for the night. Or if you just have any sort of special occasion, like a wedding or something, I think this is beautiful. Alright, so the next things I'm going to mention, I purchased at Ulta. And actually got one at Ulta and two from Target, but you, they sell them at both locations. And this is the Color Shine Lipsticks. I saw Tati talk about these. I saw them mentioned on Trend Mood. And the second I saw these, the, saw the swatches of them, I knew I had to have them because they look like the formula was very similar to some YSL lipsticks um, that are out there with the oil in them. And this one is in the shade 908 Sparkling Rose. It's a very pretty rosy color and I know these look really pigmented when you just see the color of the lipstick but they actually are more sheer and glossy, super glossy. Speaking of glossy, the next shade I have is 900. It's called Glossy Fawn, and this is just a really pretty neutral, a little bit brownish nude. Kind of goes with everything. I love that color. And I also have the shade 904 Varnish Rosewood, and this one is just stunning. It's just like the perfect mauve rose. Um, and I think this is just perfect for the season right now. So I have been loving wearing that. And yes, I love the formula of these. I've worn all three of these shades. They all perform the same to me as far as longevity. They last uh, a few hours on the lips. They definitely wear off while eating, but that's to be expected with something that's glossy or a little bit more hydrating and texturing in nature. So I adore these and I kind of want more shades, but I have so much lipstick already, so I think I will just spend my time loving these. <laughs> okay, and the next thing I have in the bag is these Flower Beauty lipsticks. I have two formulas. I have a cream and a matte formula. The matte formula I have is in the shade 20. It's called Naked Blush, and it looks like this. And I will say I've used it a few times, and this is the closest formula I have found to the Tom Ford lipsticks. I'm actually pulling out here. So this is the Tom Ford Lip Color Matte Rouge in the shade 9, first time. And you can see... Now these aren't necessarily dupe colors, although they actually kind of look pretty similar. Well, at least here. I'm going to swatch them on my hand to see if they look how similar they look next to each other. Mm, they're a little different. The Flower Beauty one is a little bit more pink in tone over here. But um, as far as the wear goes, I would say these wear very similar. I really like the formula of the Flower Beauty um, lipsticks. I'd say the lasting power is amazing. 
Yes, they will wear if you eat something, even though it's a mat, but it's a comfortable mat, similar to the Tom Ford's. And these have like Muru Muru butter in it or something that's, you know, hard to find or whatever. And it's over $50. Of course, the packaging is gorgeous. But um, for the price, the value, these are under, I want to say this was $12.99 or under, something around there. I can list the price down in the info box down below. Um, but you can't beat it. I think these are a beautiful formula. I'm still pretty packaging and uh, I will continue to purchase these. And as far as the cream formula, I also like this one too. This is in Spiced Petal. It's shade 35. So I wanted to try this brand out after I've heard Tati and Kathleen Lights talking about it. I love I love their channels and I love their reviews. I do trust them. And uh, I have to say, this is definitely a winner. So I do like this one too. It's super creamy. It's a little bit sheer. That's right. There. <laughs> Um, so almost you can tell it does have definitely that cream finish, kind of glossy, not as glossy as the L'Oreal, but um, very pretty finish. Okay, and the next thing I have are the Rimmel Oh My Gloss. These are gloss tints for your lips, and I love this formula. I haven't tried any of these colors, but I do have the shade Pop Poppy. You can see they have stickers on them. I haven't taken them off just because I wanted to show. I bought these at Ulta. They are originally $4.99 and they were marked down to $2.99, which I think is an amazing deal. These have such a pretty formula. They're super, super glossy. I'll put it right here in the back of my hand. It is definitely an oil with a hint of color have one right there. I actually turned one of my co-workers, Amanda, onto this because um, it's just so pretty. I was wearing it and she's like, what are you wearing? And um, that's what it was. Oh my gosh, I was in the shade Pop Poppy and I've got the shades 300 Modern Pink, 400 Contemporary Coral, and 600 Orange Mode. And again, these just have such a luxurious feel to them. Similar to the uh, L'Oreal Color Rage and the Flower Beauty, these definitely feel like dupes for some of the other products I have, like YSL, things that are above $30 or they're up in the $40, $50 price range, but $2.99, awesome. I love these. If you haven't tried this formula out, I highly recommend it. They do have a little bit of a scent to them, but it's really fruity. I would say it's not, it doesn't have like a plasticky or like weird chemical scent. It's just fruity. Um, so I do like these. Rimmel Oh My Gloss. Alright guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully in the future I can do an updated review of some of these products. If you'd like to see that, please give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.